Results come before measures. Does that sound a bit back to front to you? Well, it's not. Knowing your results before you look for measures is the only way to get the measures that you need. One of my readers shared this with me. I recently spoke to someone who had spent months of their time analysing their organisation's customer data for interesting trends and measures. Their report contained nothing that staff didn't already know. Not only that, the findings were so general that, even though somewhat interesting, were not useful to do anything with. Now that is a classic symptom of focusing on data and measures before thinking about the results that we need to know more about. And as my reader points out, the only reason we need any kind of analysis of data is to guide our action to improve those results. Now if the idea that results comes before measures is confusing to you or your colleagues, here's something to be aware of. That word results, it can mean one of two things when it comes to performance. So some talk about the results their measures are showing them, like an increase or a decrease in performance. But when I talk about results, I mean the impact or outcome we want to create, the impact or outcome that our measures are giving us evidence of. We need to be clear about our results, the outcomes or impacts that we want, before we can know what measures and what data and what analyses uh, will be useful to us. Results before measures is one of the mantras of the PUMP methodology. So what should our measures be? That is the wrong question. The right question is, so what results are important for us to achieve? Then you should ask, how will we recognise that those results are happening? And thusly, what are some sensible ways to measure those results? Now, every month I have lots of new readers asking me for measures without any information at all about the results that they want. I'll go through some examples just from a single month alone, but I'll also give you a sample of the questions that I ask the reader back to get closer to understanding uh, the results they're aiming for. So example one, how do you determine the right performance measure or KPI to meet expectations? Well, I asked, whose expectations? Expectations about what exactly and which expectations matter most? Example two, how do you measure infrastructure asset performance? Well, I asked them, how should infrastructure assets perform? What aspects of infrastructure assets are not currently uh, good enough yet? Example three, what are the measures of outcomes of public policy reform? So I asked, what are the outcomes of public policy reform that really matter? Who is impacted by the policy reform and what do they need or care most about? Example four, what are the metrics to use in construction projects? Well, I asked, what about construction projects needs to go really well but currently isn't? What do your project stakeholders complain about most? Example five, how do you measure data quality? So I asked, what does data quality mean to you? Can you describe examples of good data quality compared to bad data quality? Example six, how do I measure team performance of a product management team? So I asked, what are the promises that the product management team make to their customers and other stakeholders? And which of these promises do they struggle to fulfill? Example seven, what are measures for the quality of leadership delivered by my subordinate supervisors? And I asked, what kind of leadership does your organisation really need? What is your culture struggling most with? Which leadership behaviours are most important given that context? Example eight, do you have some KPIs for a software development department? And my answer, I ask them, in your organisation, what is the differentiating quality of your software compared to competitors? And what do the software users most complain about when using the software the department develops? Now, if you're struggling to find meaningful measures, 
It's almost certain that you don't understand your result yet. Get that understanding first. Trying to find the measures before you have a clear result is like trying to navigate before you have any kind of map. So try and notice when people ask questions uh, like these. How do you measure this? What should our measures be? Do you have some metrics for this? How are other organisations measuring this? Where can we find a list of measures for this? The only meaningful answer to offer is, what results are you trying to improve? Now, searching for KPIs before you are clear about the result that you need to measure is like trying to navigate without a map. Is this a bad KPI habit in your organisation, do you think?